Have to be truthful. <laughs> yeah, you have to be truthful. This is YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> So we have Janine here this morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay. Janine's been my friend. I'm a friend and a patient for how long now? A little over a year? Yes. Okay. And she is a retired nurse, Correct. right? Which yeah. hospital? Um, several in Long Beach communities. Mm -hmm. Last one I worked at. Mm -hmm. So she worked hard for all the patients, right? Over the years? Yes. And you've been diabetic for how long now? Probably two years. Oh, two years now? Oh, just recent then. Very recent. Okay. Any of your parents diabetic? Or? Uh, neither one. My, my dad had low blood sugar, but my grand, my grandmother was. Oh, really? My dad's side of the family, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. She had type 2 diabetes. Oh, okay. So, how are you managing your well, diabetes these days? Lactose and uh, metformin. Metformin? Okay. And then you told me you recently changed your diabetic doctor, right? Yes. Now it's Dr. Jennifer Shea. Dr. Shea, yes. Very good doctor, yes. I know she, Dr. Shea. She's wonderful. Yeah, good. So, how about your diet? How's your diet oh. coming along? You have yeah. a special on diet? On and off. <laughs> on and off. <laughs> I'll be truthful. <laughs> yeah, you have to be truthful. This is YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me, tell me what you eat uh, in the morning. I uh, usually it's a half a banana with my pills. Uh -huh. And uh, sometimes I'll have a bowl of cereal. Sometimes I don't. Uh -huh. Just depends what's going on and how fast I have to get out of the house. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> you still busy running around or what? Well, you know, you have doctor's appointments and different things like that. Dental, mm. vision, all that stuff. Yeah, that's what the retirement is all about. Right. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that I don't know that either. But that's what they tell me. So. See, when you're feeling good, you don't think about those things as much. Right. You go to the hospital. He puts you 12 hours in and take care of the patients the right way. Right. So you've been working. How many? How many? Yeah. How many years did you work as a nurse? 50 years this year. Really, 50 years? Wow. I graduated in 1969. 1969, wow. From okay. a three-year diploma school. Wow. It was run by the nuns, so they were very strict. Really? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Mother Superior, she would make her rounds. They All had, right. They had the sisters manning the hospital, uh -huh. and you could hear a pin drop. Really? At night, you better not be making noise and having parties because they were going to take care of that. Wow. <laughs> it was like a boarding school. Oh, it was a boarding oh, school. Oh, it was a boarding school? Three years. Oh, is that right? Where was this at? New Hampshire. Oh. Manchester, New Hampshire. 45 uh. minutes from Boston. Oh, okay. But most of the schools were running back. Oh. There was all, pretty much all dorm and boarding schools, huh? Mm hmm So what kind of nursing did you do? Like uh... Critical care. Oh, that's right. You told me. Sometimes in the ER, sometimes they'd shift us over to the... Maternity department. Mm -hmm. They'd let us go ahead and we sometimes we'd tell the doctors the patient's ready and they didn't believe us. So we were delivering babies in the hallway. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, in their beds, transporting them to labor room. Wow. Yeah, we, we doctors don't listen to nurses that much. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Some do. Some do, right? Not all. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes they don't. <laughs> Exactly, and then and that's what I... for it. I said, where's my, where's my, um, my cut on this? You stayed and you had, you were having the coffee while I was delivering the baby. Uh-huh. I should have a cut. Right. I didn't see the cut, but... I no. Nope. They took all of it, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit ingrown right here, so we're just cleaning out the corner a little bit. Like, um... Okay, and how'd you get into critical care? What you well, like? You like the? That was a, a total accident. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. I was at nursing school, and um, when I did my routine through critical care, mm -hmm. 
they told my soup the supervisor told my instructor that they wanted to put me on the list for when I graduated they wanted to have me in critical chemo. Oh really? So you must have a really calm demeanor about you, which I kind of see when I see you every time you come, right? Mm -hmm. Not yes. only you're nice and pleasant, but you're you're kind of calm. So you know, in a critical care, you don't want somebody all crazy like I am. You need somebody oh. more calm, right? <laughs> you're supposed to have somebody more calm. It doesn't mean we are inside. Really? <laughs> well, at least you show outside. That's okay. You know. So going back to your diabetes, so what uh, what other activities are you doing? Are you pretty active, doing things, or what? Uh, mm -hmm. What is your? I'm what jumping you... around all over the place. I know you're busy. I, I see your busy body, but do you do any exercise like walking or? I used to walk five miles a day, then mm -hmm. it dropped down to three, and then Dr. Spencer said, you're bone on bone on your knee, so oh, really? you're, not, you're not showing it yet, but don't go walking five miles a day anymore. Mm -hmm. Or three. He says, just do your normal routine. Really? Well, yeah. So is that what you do? Mm -hmm. Okay. How about some like bicycling or something? Mm, no, I I wouldn't do very well on a bicycle. Really? No, the stationary one. Do you have one? I don't have one. No. Yeah, I think uh, so. That's a really good point. Uh, it's it's true yeah, that could, yeah. I could go to the gym and just. Yeah, you can go to the gym. Do you belong to a membership? I have one. They have yes. a, you see the? Fitness. Oh, you do. Okay. There's a callus with a little cracked uh, skin here, which we're going to clean out this whole area. Yeah, so if you have bone and bone on your knees and you still need to be active, uh, being diabetic, it's very important that you stay active, uh, is to get on a bicycle, stationary bike. If you can't ride the bike outside, then I recommend everybody to really increase your uh, exercise minimum, like at least four or five times a week. Nothing too strenuous, but you need to push yourself is, a little bit. Is it kind of like uh, the pedal thing? Yeah. If you're sitting down and doing the pedal thing, that's okay? Yes, absolutely. Because okay. you're sitting down, actually it helps your knee because it's moving it and lubricating, right? And mm -hmm. then you need to build your muscle. When you're diabetic, it's, it's paramount that you build muscles uh, around all over the body because that's where you retain your sugar. So your sugar won't be fluctuating as much if okay. you have muscles in your body. So it's very important, as you all know, we're losing about 10 ounces of um, muscle mass uh, at the age of 40. So we're losing a lot of muscle mass if you just don't do anything. So I highly recommend fight against it by doing a lot of activities, especially like weight training. I recommend resistant or weight training for all the diabetics, which is what I do at least three times a week. I'm lifting heavy weights to build muscles which will help your uh, sugar control. So it's very oh. important for diabetics to be exercising. But I do recommend bike almost like every day. You can do 30 minutes or start slow though. Start with maybe 15, 20 minutes every day and then mm -hmm. increase up to half an hour to even an hour. Then you'll be really back in shape again, like your old nursing days. Well, that's good. <laughs> okay. I have so, to teach my, my grandkids. They have those pedal things. Oh, they do, okay. Okay, so or, or to tell them if they if I see they're not using it, I'm gonna swipe on them. Yeah, they're quite yeah they're quite inexpensive, and if you belong to a gym, just go to a, you know, um, like a, a stationary bike, which is mm -hmm. which is fine. And while you're at it, you can do some uh, weightlifting. We we'll use dumbbells, mm -hmm. use a lot of resistance, and then and then um, uh, do the exercise as well. So eating is very important. Obviously, diet is very important for diabetics, but also. Uh, doing um, uh, resistance training or any kind of exercise is very important, especially after your meals. Okay. After your meals, I know people sit around and have uh, dessert, but instead just get up and start walking with your uh, people that you ate with or you know uh, other people who can walk with you. Just go out mm -hmm. and get some fresh air and walk and really use big muscles like your leg muscles to really improve your sugar level after your meals as well. So here was a little cows that we cleaned out and now we're gonna now we're gonna grind out the uh, the nails for her um how about uh, your lunch what do you like for your lunch 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So there are two things that you just told me that you need to really watch out. Our sandwiches are fine, but you need to uh, reduce or eliminate bread. Oh, okay. Bread is raising your sugar, so I don't eat sandwiches or hamburgers other than my cheat day, which is Saturday. I get an In-N-Out or some kind of hamburger just once a week. But the rest of the time, I don't need any visible sugar, like bread or pasta, things like that. Yeah. Fruits also has a lot of sugar. It's the fructose, which is very tasty and good, but you need to really reduce the amount of sugar in the um, fruits as well, especially tropical ones, the, the tasty ones, the bananas and the pineapples and the mangoes, all those. Those are tropical ones. They have a lot of sugar in them. So you want to get it down to like a berries, blueberry, blackberry, strawberry. Those have a lot more fiber and less uh, sugar, fructose. So when we're skipping the meals, because we're really busy, sometimes I'll just go ahead and make some smoothies and I'll skip the, like the blueberries and the raspberries and uh -huh. I'll put celery and kale and oh, yeah. fish and stuff like that. Uh -huh. Then I'll throw a couple of pieces of protein powder in. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that sounds like and a really good... Uh, the vegetable powders. Uh-huh. You know, the ones that have like uh, vegetable and uh, mm -hmm. food in it. Uh-huh. Yeah, those are good. Yeah, just uh, restrict to the berries. Yeah. Uh, if you want a little bit better tasting uh, smoothie. Those are, that sounds yeah, like a real I, good... I don't throw the sugar in there. Right, I right. Just, uh, put water in it. Okay, yeah, very good. Yeah, that sounds like a good smoothie. So, how about for your dinner? Um, sometimes it's chicken, sometimes it's fish, sometimes it's beef, sometimes it's pork, sometimes it's Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and you try to stick to like three ounces okay. of uh, protein mm -hmm. and like a couple of vegetables in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that sounds like a real good uh, yeah, meal too, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, carrots have a lot of sugar too, so, yeah. I mean, you can have carrots, but uh, just limit it. Don't, don't eat too much of that. So, it's good, and I usually recommend people to have a cheat day. You can start with two days of cheat days, and then reduce down to one day of cheat day, because that day you can have some stuff they really enjoy, but you couldn't have during the week. You can have those as well. So I'm gonna grind out this area a little bit more. When you're pregnant, you want a brownie. Just when they go to cafeteria and get a brownie, you split it. Really? <laughs> I used to split it over two days. Oh, is that right? Oh, okay. Very good. Um, so we talked a little bit about the diet and exercise, which is really paramount for all the diabetics. Uh, Janine happens, happens to be a retired nurse, so she knows a lot about all this diabetic stuff, so she's doing very well with that. So, here's after picture.